How is Isaac affected by energy gain and those heroes that manipulate and affect energy? Well, let's find out. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, I want to talk about some misinformation that's been being uh, passed around a little bit about Isaac, the new hero here on Facebook and web, uh, specifically discussing energy, his energy gain, and, uh, and all of that. First of all, he doesn't gain energy. He actually gains something called charge. You can see that his energy bar is purple or violet instead of the traditional yellow. Uh, very similar to Astrid and Lucas and, and uh, maybe one or two other heroes that have a special energy bar there. But um, let's first define the ways that your heroes can gain energy. And if you're not sure about that, I've got them posted here. Every basic auto attack will grant your hero 10% energy. Any skill use, that is your ultimate, your green, your blue, or a violet, if your hero has a violet active skill, will gain you 10% energy as well. If your hero takes damage, they gain 1% energy per damage taken, and uh, per, per percentage damage taken, I should say. Killing an enemy hero with an ability will not only gain you that 10% for the auto attack or the skill use, but also an additional 30% energy. And uh, of course, dodging on Facebook and web gains you that 1% of energy per 1% of damage that is dodged. So let's talk specifically about Isaac and his four skills and uh, help to kind of solidify this experiment a little bit further. So um, Isaac's ultimate ability is a area of effect silence, all right? Each attack charges Teslin up 10%, all right? So, so far, we're basically reflecting the same basic auto attack for 10% energy, but each attack charges Teslin up by 10%. So 10 hits, 100% energy, 10 times 10 is 100, 100% energy, so 10 basic attacks, Isaac will use his ultimate. When the charge reaches 100%, Isaac can activate uh, her first ability, Tesla emits, uh, emits an electromagnetic impulse, silencing all enemies for four seconds. Okay, so we have an area of effect enemy silence that uh, goes off after Isaac attacks 10 times. His green ability, this is the uh, this is the interesting one. Tesla's magic power capacitor absorbs a portion of any magic damage taken by Isaac and his allies, transforming it into her charge. The amount of charge Tesla gains is four times the energy allies would have received for taking that damage. So, uh, you got to be very careful with the wording with this green ability. This is not quote unquote bonus energy. Okay. Why does that matter? We'll talk about it later on this video. This is not bonus energy. This is charge. Okay. This is additional charge. There's no bonus. So there's no energy in here at all, except in that last line, the amount of charge Tesla gains is four times the energy allies would have received for taking that damage. So again, Isaac is not gaining bonus energy from your team receiving magic damage. Isaac and and uh, his uh, his little robot spider Teslin is gaining charge. Okay, the uh, the blue ability is an addition uh, to his ultimate to Isaac's ultimate. Uh, if Teslin Overdrive is activated more than once during a battle, she also spawns drones on all activations. Drones boost physical attack. Uh, important note, neither the green ability or the blue ability is an attack on the enemy, okay? Neither the green ability, the blue ability, or the violet ability, I should go ahead and say. Uh, I'm No, 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 just the green or the blue. Neither the green or the blue ability is an attack on the enemy, okay? It's very important for our, for our testing. And then finally, the violet ability is an attack, sort of. Uh, if Tesla Overdrive is activated more than twice during a battle, high voltage module is trig triggered, and uh, this is a physical attack. This is his like his electrical physical attack that he does to the enemies. Um, not only is he silencing the enemy team, but he's also doing damage. So anytime Isaac does a basic attack, just to kind of uh, reiterate here, anytime Isaac does a basic auto attack, he gains 10% charge, all right? Anytime he uses a skill. Now remember, the green and the blue... Um, excuse me, the green, the blue, and the violet skill are all passives. They augment Isaac's charge or his Tesla and overdrive ultimate in some way. So the only way, the only way that Isaac can use his ultimate ability is by his basic auto attacks or by him or his team absorbing or taking magic damage from the enemy. So the first thing that I wanted to test was, does Jorgen's two abilities affect Isaac? And what two abilities am I talking about? Well, we're talking about Jorgen's ultimate, 
Uh, Jorgen summons a skull to the enemy's front line, which deals magic damage. Affected energy enemies cannot gain energy for nine seconds. So we're going to show that here. And we're also going to talk about Tainted Wounds, his Jorgen's Violet ability. Every basic attack steals some of the affected enemy's energy. And you'll see that even though, even though there will be a minus percentage on uh, floating above Isaac, he still attacks 10 times and gets an ultimate every time he attacks 10 times. So Jorgen does not affect Isaac according to this video. The next thing that I wanted to check, the next uh, the next short little clip here was, does, uh, does Jorgen's cycle of energies green ability cause Isaac to charge faster? Cycle of energy states, protects an ally with a magic shield. The ally will gain energy at a doubled rate until the shield is destroyed. The answer is no. Isaac's basic attacks uh, still needs to happen 10 times, regardless of if Cycle of Energies is on Isaac or not. So uh, Cycle of Energies, the energy, uh, the double energy gain from Jorgen does not work with Isaac. The third test that I wanted to do was the test for Anvari. Anvari has a very similar ability, a very similar ability to Jorgen. His ability is the, uh, it's the Violet ability, covers a lowest armor ally with a protective barrier that absorbs physical and pure damage. The hero protected by the barrier gains bonus energy for all damage absorbed. And of course the test here is, does Isaac taking additional physical damage while the shield is active, does it increase the charge overall? And you can see a little bit into the fight, the, um, the nature's barrier, is applied to Isaac. Kira is still, Kira's stunned quite a bit in this fight, unfortunately, but Kira is still doing her area of effect basic attack that she does, uh, her ricochet attack, and, and Isaac still takes 10 attacks in order for him to use his ultimate each time. So the answer is no, Anvari's Nature's Barrier does not boost the charge gain of the fourth and final experiment that I want to talk about today in, in this video is the hero Satori and his Violet ability, Eminent Reckoning, and how it interacts with Isaac. So first of all, his ability, Satori's ability is Satori applies non -fox, nine Foxfire marks, excuse me, to enemies each time they gain a bonus energy. And, and if you take a look at this fight in the background, uh, going up against Orion, Orion gains a bonus energy whenever he uses his abilities, uh, his ultimate ability and all of that. Uh, however, the wording is important. Isaac's ability gains additional charge, his green ability. It does not gain bonus energy. So you can see in this fight, and I'll loop it a couple of times, uh, Orion is getting a ton of Foxfire marks floating around his head. And if this fight were to go to completion, um, and you know, and the, and the teams were full teams, then Satori would wreck Orion. You know, given you know, given the supports and other setup. But uh, this is this is just to kind of show how the uh, Eminent Reckoning ability works. Now, if we contrast that with a generic keeps, uh, keep Isaac alive as long as possible without trying to do anything team, this, this team on the left is not a, uh, <laughs> this team on the left is not a good team. But you can see throughout the entire fight, <clears throat> you have uh, several heroes on the defending team, uh, Satori and Kai and, um, and Marcus that are doing magic damage to the entire enemy team. And if Isaac is gaining additional charge, he's basically, you know, he should be gaining those nine Foxfire marks anytime anybody receives magic damage on the attacking team, right? That's what the that's what the violet ability states. I'm sorry, the green ability states is, you know, anytime any of Isaac or any of his allies takes magic damage, he gains bonus charge or additional charge, I should say. But throughout the entire fight, uh, you know, Isaac is gaining that extra charge from all this magic damage, but at most, he only has two Foxfire marks above his head. And, you know, this, again, this isn't a great team to, you know, to attack with, but it's, you know, it's, it's used to illustrate the fact that Satori does not apply additional Foxfire marks to Isaac at all because Isaac does not gain bonus energy because Isaac does not gain energy. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys, uh, you know, what, what do you use Isaac with? I've got on screen now, if the video is up, I'm not quite done with it at the time of recording of this video, but I'll include the Isaac tier list video as well as uh, an Isaac video, first look video. And then I might change that around a little bit as I, as I do more videos. I've got, a, I've got three or four videos around Isaac that I want to that I want to talk about and accomplish over the next week or so. So let me know in the comments how you feel about it. Uh, I think Isaac is a fantastic addition. Um, is he, you know, is he complete overkill against mages? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But until then, I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.